Thanks, Tony. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brendan from Heartbreaker Guitars. I am here in the Heartbreaker Lounge with my pal Toby the Beagle at the back of the store, Heartbreaker Guitars Las Vegas. And we are reporting from the front lines of Acoustic Tuesday, bringing you guys all the small bench luthier news. We've got three great stories for you guys this episode. One, we've got the NAMM Show 2020, which is right around the corner. We're gonna bring that to you. Two, we've got huge news out of Staunton, Virginia and Husson Dalton Guitars. And finally, Bourgeois and Eastman Guitars. We've got a huge announcement from them. So let's jump right in. Okay, so first on deck, NAMM Show 2020. Guys, it's November, and before you know it, January 2020 is gonna be here, and it's time for the NAMM Show. And we wanted to bring you up to speed on the NAMM Show. A lot of you haven't been to the NAMM Show, and it is such a cool event. And we're gonna bring you live events, interviews, product demos, everything there is to see at NAMM Show 2020. <laughs> What is the NAMM show? It is probably the biggest music convention in the world. This is where the manufacturers, the retailers, the vendors, where everybody comes together for a one-time event that happens in January of every year. We are going to bring to you product demonstrations, interviews. We are gonna take you on a tour of the entire convention center. We are going to bring NAM 2020 to you. So if you've never been and you've never experienced it, we, Heartbreaker Guitars, are gonna be there and we are gonna bring it to you. Okay guys, huge announcement coming out of Lewiston, Maine with Bourgeois Guitars. Dana Bourgeois has just announced a new partnership with Eastman Guitars. Now there's a ton of rumors flying around on the internet right now and people are freaking out. You know, they don't want their precious Bourgeois guitars made in China. None of that's happening. In fact, most of the information out there is incorrect that's on the internet. Basically what's going on right now, all Dana has done is he has decided on a partnership with Eastman Guitars. Currently Eastman Guitars is already distributing Bourgeois guitars in China and that kind of came all came together at the Shanghai Guitar Show. Now basically they are in discussions right now with how the future looks for Bourgeois Guitars and Eastman, okay? First off, Bourgeois Guitars. They are still going to continue to operate under complete autonomy. The Bourgeois Guitar that you get today is gonna to be the same Bourgeois Guitar in five years, 10 years from now. However, what may happen is they may start making a bourgeois guitar that is a little bit more accessible, a little bit more affordable, uh, a much lower price point. However, it will be branded differently. Bourgeois guitars, complete autonomy, they will continue to operate business as usual. But in the future, you may be seeing some guitars in conjunction with Eastman guitars being made at a lower price point. A press release from Dana Bourgeois is coming soon that's really gonna outline what the future of bourgeois and Eastman Guitars looks like. But guys, for now, all you need to know is that it's business as usual. Bourgeois Guitars is still gonna be the amazing handmade instruments made in Lewiston, Maine that you've always known. Eastman Guitars are proceeding as Eastman Guitars. So again, for now, not much has changed. And most of the stuff and the rumors you're reading on the internet are quite honestly a lot of BS, okay? Like I said, if you own a bourgeois guitar or you're ordering one in the future, it's gonna be the same amazing guitar that you've come to know from Dana Bourgeois. Okay, last but not least, guys, I got a huge story coming out of Staunton, Virginia, Huss and Dalton Guitars. Are you ready for this? Huss and Dalton has just announced they are going to be making an electric guitar. I spoke with Mark Dalton and Jeff Huss about this. They are both very inspired by the old Les Paul classic guitars, and some of their favorite tones are a result of that iconic guitar. So they wanted to build something that was loosely based on that guitar, but they wanted to make it their own, something that was very much a Huss and Dalton signature. So what they've done is they have come up with their own take on this classic guitar. Okay guys, so let's face it. Does the world really need another Les Paul knockoff? Probably not. So Mark Dalton and Jeff Huss have made a real concerted effort to make this guitar uniquely Huss and Dalton. Okay, it's as mentioned, it's a carved Les Paul body, which is made of Honduran mahogany. The neck is also mahogany. It's got a rosewood board, and something that was really important to them is they wanted to have a really unique boutique pickup. So they went to none other than Lindy Fralin to do a modern take on the classic PAF pickup. 
Okay, for the neck, as mentioned, all mahogany, but what's different about it? It's gonna be a little bit rounder, a little bit fatter than what you're used to on a standard Les Paul. You can expect the new Hudson Dalton electric guitar to be in stores December, January, and the official unveiling will be at NAMM 2020. So if you happen to be at the show, you're gonna be able to check that out. Okay, it's got a flame maple cap. Price tag, 4,800 bucks retail, which means you're gonna see map pricing at about probably 43, 4,400. Guys, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching the newscast with Heartbreaker Guitars. Next month, we're gonna have even more cool stories for you guys. So this is Brendan and Toby the Beagle signing off from the Heartbreaker Lounge at the back of the store at Heartbreaker Guitars Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Tony, my friend, back to you.